Hello YouTube, I just wanted to show. I, 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 I this deck, sorry. I love this deck, it's so cool. I really need a third of this. A third can come in handy, but I have many ways to get it. So we're playing this, um, uh, Cyber Quantum Dragon deck, which utilizes this skill, if you haven't seen it. In the Lifetime's missions, just Synchro Summon three times with Playmaker. Um, you can use each of the following effects once per turn. You can only special summon Light, Dark, Earth, Cyber's monsters during the duel. You use the skill, excluding special summons from hand and extra deck. You can reveal a Cyber Synchro monster from your hand and add a level 3 or level 4 Light Cyber's monster with 800 defense or less to your hand. And then you send the card to the graveyard. And then you have another effect to set a Cyber Synchrons onto your field from your hand and then you can shuffle up to two Cyber monsters to your deck that are banished or are in your graveyard. Essentially, you, it just helps you make this turn one, and we utilize Wicket, Cyber's Wicket, to do that as well. So essentially, you just get a Cyber Synchron, use the skill, ask Cyber's Gadget, and then you send Cyber Synchron to the graveyard, and then you just make Wicket Kid, the token that Gadget makes. Um, you put it on a link arrow where Wicked Kid points to, and then he can search the other uh, Cyber Synchron. Yeah, this deck's not playable with just one copy of this. You need two minimum for it to work. And then the second part of the skill, you just set it from your hand, you flip it up, and then you just Synchro Climb. Because the token's level 2, you can make this. It summons back the Cyber Synchron. And then you use Cyber Synchron's effect to essentially double the level of this. To get Quantum Dragon. Uh, if this is, I believe, if it's sent away as a synchro material. No, it's just sent to the graveyard period. You just draw a card. Pretty good. But this card's pretty nice. Removal during the. Essentially, all it really does is that, well, you control a leg monster. Monster your opponent's control. Cannot target monsters you control for attacks except with this one. So your opponent cannot target monsters you control with card effects except this one. So essentially he protects Cyber Wicked because he's pretty small, he's easy to beat over, but he also has the effect that this Link Summon card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effect in Cyber's monsters. This card points you cannot be destroyed by card effects. So your the only real thing to worry about is like this thing getting booked. And that's it. That's about it, so it's unfortunate. I had a person dark hole me and he read none of it. But what I wanted to really show is three replays where I just demolish um demolish uh tachyon players since a lot of people hate them right now because it's tier zero. Oh, this looks so fun, but Get in with the first one we have here. This <laughs> is freaking crazy, dude. Tip the mystery. Our hand's pretty standard, but we already have um, gadget. If we ever get gadget, we can just search backup secretary. It's good follow up. And it also allows us to play through interruptions, like say they book um, Gadget or something. You can back up Secretary has the necessary levels to immediately go into Quantum Dragon, or you can just link off as well. Look at this, just in the skill, just recycle all those monsters. <laughs> the skill's bonkers because it's not once per turn, dude. You can do this every single turn. So keep in mind you only recycle cyber monsters and only two at a time. So it's not really infinite. There's, there should be a certain point where you just can't uh, just loot your cards anymore. But this deck's insane. Now I have protections and beefy monsters. A guy that can't simply just crash to because I can bounce back the monster. That's, that's the best part. In damage calculation you can return the card of battle to the hand. 
we activate this to turn off his skill because they need to their cards in their hand to be level 8. Um, and that's why people play this trap. As for why he cosmic it, because that trap card for some reason has the exact same effect in the graveyard. But we, we milled one with tuning, so that's amazing. Um, unfortunately, even though they were able to play through it, we're not getting the skill activation for uh, the one that searches the card, so that's good. Because I believe the biggest problem with Tachyon is that they gain too much advantage from the search ability. And the fact that it's twice per duel makes it worse. Really worse. Yeah. So, we obviously activated the cyber so we can proc off the counter trap out there. We're gonna show you how we just resummon Quantum Dragon. And then we have Cyber's Gadget, we're just gonna Link Summon. Wicked. We can get a free search, but now we can just get a Unicorn and bounce a monster. We don't need to sign it mining. Let him go on, and he has an empty field, and we go. Even if he's just, I don't know, a Kyro or something, it doesn't matter. Actually, one of these players Kyroid it me. Which is annoying. And yeah. Sure, we went first. But Tachyon is very good going second anyway, so. Also, we didn't do too much back. That was like one. Uh, just the one. That was like. The one that mattered a lot against the Master, but then again, they were able to at least somewhat play around. This guy, unfortunately, couldn't do anything. But. We're gonna see the reason why he couldn't do anything, so we're just gonna do our standard combo, activate the skill, get Cyber's Gadget. Uh, and this time we actually just wanna Phoenix away the back from Crackdown. We get to destroy it, comes back, and our main monster so unfortunately. And we can still do our play because we have tuning, so we don't need Wicked Kit to search. So that's good. We're gonna proceed our combo as normal. Go into Integrator, and then into Quantum. We have two back rows, so we're fine. We gotta go we got three back rows now, so we draw. And this guy's just playing Kyber. Yeah. Like... Yep. He just, he just had... A back row, hey, Kiteroid, no wonder he breaks, but, you know, we're not gonna try to let him do anything. We, we cannot let him rock off too much. We have a lot of back row. Unfortunately, they break, but they chose to play Kiteroid. Stop it. Um, how I would hit Tachyon is get rid of the searching part of the skill, because that's just stupid. Like, oh, I have a level A, here's another one. That's dumb. The fact that they can do it twice is dumb. The... Although the free body up to the feel from the hand is fine, it's just that taking away the search ability forces them to, you know, actually play more of the... level 8 one. <laughs> here's an effect Veiler. Welcome to Toss format. Uh, we still have plays, so we can just go into Wicked as normal, and that's the good thing about um, Cyber Secretary, it allows the player to interruption, but this asshole had two Veilers, and I'm like, okay, I guess we're not having fun, so I have a trap that just floodgates him, and he can't use the skill. Fortunately, we didn't get any too important to draw, and now he can just search whatever he wants with the skill. I don't know why he searches the level 4. I don't like getting the level 4 when there's a lot of back row, it's kind of iffy. Just go straight to the, to the level 8 that resummons two things. So we're doing this, he books it. Uh, that's not how book works with Crackdown. And we're just gonna go into Phoenix, pop the back row and draw a card. We also get a search with Wicked, so we're getting a lot more value for the book. Can't he even activate because links can't be placed down. And now we have our full combo because we drew into uh, Cyber Synchron. 
the uh, no, not during the cyber king because we get to search it, which is not normal. And here we go. Uh, we're just gonna proceed normal. And uh, practically game. Oh, another thing I want to mention. For some reason, the skill is bugged when you're against CPUs. I can't flip up Cyber Synchronous after sitting with the skill. I don't know what that's all about. Someone really got fired at the moment or something. Because there's like some glitches with a lot of... Like every last batch of skill is mistranslated. Golly. And there we go. Just annihilating them. Now granted, w was I- was I carried by the trap card? Was I carried by the trap card? Probably. Uh, I don't really advise three. You can beat them with just different back rows. You're fine. Your turn one, it's not even threatened by their many cards that pop because they can't use any of them. Um, the only thing they can do is cipher this, but I don't think they knew that, and then try to do something. But even then, if they go to, cy um, to cipher, they're susceptible to back row, because they need specifically a Galaxy Tachyon to be able to activate the counter trap from the hand. So this deck is not really too bad of a matchup for... Her. For them, the only problem is the counter trap. Once you get rid of that, there's ways to play around back row. It didn't get to come up for a replay, but you wanna summon both gadget and you wanna summon both gadget and synchron to to the far corners of your main monster zone. Preferably one where you can actually link someone over. Because, like, say they book, uh, at least you can link one of them away, and Disciple will tribute the other. This is good because it doesn't matter. I think it doesn't matter how this is sent to the graveyard, right? Yeah, if it's sent from field to graveyard, you get the token, so you can kind of just get your combo live-ish a bit. Um, on top of drawing a card and replacing another. Although at that point you kind of need to dig into Cyber Secretary, but it's still something. It gets your card in, it gets your guys in the grave, you get other stuff. Like, this deck can play around a, ha a hefty amount of back row. Though, 3 is... I, know, I, I hate seeing set 3 pass, but hey. Can't beat the joy them. I highly recommend play a third one if you have it, though. And I don't like this card too much, but... It helps. Uh, I don't know, I just wanted to show those replays just demolishing Tachyon players. Hope you guys enjoy.